this year, the Edward R. Murrow School of Communication has bestowed its Lifetime Achievement Award on former NBC News anchor Tom Brokaw. He was in Pullman to accept the Murrow Award and sat down face to face with our Corey Midgard. For more than 30 years, the Murrow Symposium held here at Washington State University has acknowledged exceptional achievement in communication. Celebrating scholarships and connecting students to industry professionals, the symposium was designed to honor the legacy of Edward R. Murrow, a man regarded as one of broadcasting's most distinguished journalists. A pioneer in education through mass communication. Since the 1990s, WSU has honored the achievements of some of the industry's top leaders, such as Peter Jennings. This year's recipient, Tom Brokaw. I had the opportunity to sit down face to face with the former NBC Nightly News anchor, hearing his thoughts and feelings on Murrow and his legacy. He showed us that this new medium, of first radio and then television, could be a place where you could have serious discussion of those issues and that it would transform the country in many ways because his voice reached into homes all across America and around the world for that matter. Those historic broadcasts from the streets of London during the London Blitz uh, brought home to this country the terror of what was going on well beyond our shores. Hello America, this is Edward Murrow speaking from London. Brokaw says he can't imagine broadcast journalism without Murrow and accepts the award with pleasure. I must say that I'm at, a, at an age and a stage in my life when there are few events that move me anymore, but this one does deeply because as I sat there tonight looking at my own career playing out on the large screen and thinking about being a young man in the working class homes and communities of my home state of South Dakota and hearing over the radio every night the distinctive voice of Edward R. Murrow, and then finally moving to a town large enough where we could get television <laughs> and actually seeing him. Edward R. Murrow was in so many ways the godfather and founding father of broadcast journalists of my generation, and his reputation has stood up all these years. Uh, the film Good Night and Good Luck, I think, introduced him to a whole new generation of young people. And um, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's a great honor. It's not one that I ever anticipated when I left South Dakota a long time ago, you know, with his voice in my ears. Since leaving South Dakota, Brokaw has helped keep the Murrow legacy alive. Working more than 40 years as a journalist, Brokaw never dreamed his career would take him to places it has. I remember thinking that maybe I can get a network to pay for me to see the world. I now sometimes think that I overwished in that regard. <laughs> but nonetheless, I accept this with a great sense of humility and also with a commitment to all of you that I will do all that I can to commit myself to the legacy of Edward R. Murrow and all that he stood for. What it was Retired from the anchor desk, Brokaw still goes on assignment for NBC News, but is at more liberty now. I am now free of what I called the tyranny of the clock and I can pick and choose when and where I want to go to a greater degree than I did before. I'm trying to find the right mix between what I think of as my professional obligations and my personal interest. I've been a little heavy on the professional obligations. I need to work harder on the personal interests. Mr. Brokaw, I really appreciate it. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Next time you ought to try to get nervous, though, before you do the interview. Good evening. I'm Tom Brokaw. Tom Brokaw, NBC News in Salem, Oregon. Glad to be here where no one can get to me. The fact of the matter is. I say go with some one two. Okay. Go. One two. And we'll see it again. <laughs> This is not Tom Brokaw's first visit to Pullman. He says he was here back in the 1960s to cover a protest rally for NBC. That brings us to the end of our program. If there's a story you'd like to see here, drop us a note at Face to Face, the Murrow School of Communication, Washington State University in Pullman, Washington, 99164. And for all of the students, staff, and volunteers who make this show possible, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Face to Face.